Morning folks. This morning's soap is from TFS or I think it's pronounced Tung Bung's thing. It's a Soto Zero. It's a uh, menthol, mint, uh, eucalyptus uh, type scent. I may have a hard time finding this soap. That's what it looks like on the inside. It's a firm but fairly soft soap. Um, when I got to looking online when I was working at the post, the um, noticed that uh, not only did uh, the labels look different from different locations, but uh, most everybody was uh, out of stock and it looked like it might have been discontinued, so it might be difficult to find. Got the Allen Block without the rubber band. Got the uh, Unincented Witch Hazel with uh, menthol. And going to be following up with uh, Duke Cannon Aftershave Balm Ice Cold. And the uh, beard oil that seems to be working out pretty well for me. Not necessarily, it's not changing the color of my uh, of my beard, so pretty happy with this is Saban Shaler. Sailor. <laughs> I'll have a link for this down below for all this good stuff. The shaver of the day <coughs> is Razorine. This is the first uh, video you've seen of this, what it looks like. And today's shave is going to be with a feather blade. I'm going to test it out and see how it works with a feather. Got the uh, lather whipped up with a uh, Yaki brush, cashmere knot. I don't know if you can see the gold lettering there at the bottom. That's what it looks like in there in the bowl. It's uh, It whips up really nice. Just nice and wet. Or you put a hot towel to the face and this morning I won't get sidetracked and will use the uh, <laughs> pre-shave uh, cube. Been kind of, <clears throat> excuse me, busy this week. I haven't been able to watch very many videos, but I did uh, uh, did notice uh, Trevor. I didn't get to watch it, but I did notice that he did post a video. And it looks like uh, he's calling into his uh, YouTube channel. So I hope everything goes well with him. I know he's been, he's had a few personal struggles. I can understand. I can understand maybe a sideline that sort of thing for a while. Um, <clears throat> don't know if many of you know uh, Manny from so SoCal Southern um, Shaving. He's having some personal struggles of his own. Kind of seems to be the theme here of recent. But I did get to watch uh, Randy Wright's uh, video. He's got a YouTube channel, Polar Shaving, and it's been brought up once before. Got some of that uh, menthol in my eye. <laughs> um, anyhow, kind of got along the conversation of uh, how you apply your lather. And for me, I think this is one of the reasons why I kind of stray away from uh, face lathering is uh, all that scrubbing on the face uh, for my face. It just irritates the skin. In other words, it doesn't make for a good shave. When I did this, this is back when I first started shaving. So I thought maybe I should try revisiting it. And I would think I'm going to try to revisit along the lines of using uh, shaving sticks. I know when I first started, it didn't feel so good. Definitely do better just painting it on. And 
still leaves the question of exfoliating. Since I usually shave with a shave vet, <laughs> I feel like I'm taking off a pretty good layer of whatever is up there. <laughs> It's kind of like how some people feel like uh, when they shave with an R41. You're taking off a pretty good layer of whatever's there with a feather blade or with a shave head or a straight razor. I don't know. For me, I haven't quite wrapped my mind around for me, how much, uh, how necessary that would be since I'm a daily shaver. Um, if I was shaving every two to three days, I might understand that a little bit more so. I guess on the individual, it depends on how much uh, importance you want to place on it. How do you feel about that sort of thing? How necessary is it? And for me, I'm just not too sure that it's a, that much of an issue for me. Feather blade. First pass. I have to say, uh, it's... Uh, you do feel a little edginess of the blade, but uh, not like I have in other shavers. And I have to say, uh, I wouldn't be that concerned uh, trying a feather blade if you're considering it. I don't feel that it's... Um, that harsh with this shaver. At least that's my experience. Well, fa the, you know how it is. The, uh, in my opinion, the true pass is going to be on the uh, against the grain. How does that pass feel? But right now, with the wet, with the grain, yeah, it's uh, it's not as smooth as some of the others I've used. <clears throat> Here recently, I used a uh, seven o'clock perma sharp, and that that blade worked rather well with this shaver. Very smooth shaving blade. But like anything else, try your blades to see what works out best for you. I did see Carl's uh, video with the Razorine. And uh, it looked like he did. Uh, he looked like he was doing pretty well with it. I have to say, it's really, once you wrap your mind around <laughs> keeping the net out <laughs> and the handle, after that, things start to work fairly well for you. It's just a little bit of a learning curve, and it's not that tough, in my opinion. This is a, uh, this is a good shaper for a lot of folks, because with the safety bar on there, Should just make it easier for folks to be able to use. You can kind of tell. You don't have too much trouble with the, uh, in my opinion, the clogging. I don't really see that being an issue. The uh, shaving cream works right through it. So in other words, if you're in a hurry, you can get quite a bit of your half of one half of your face shaved on one side and you flip it over to the other side and depends on how much shaving cream you actually have on your face, you can go through that one pass without even having to stop for a rinse if that's a uh, what you're wanting to do.
Like I say, it just depends on how much shaving cream you got on your on your face. If you like the big fluffy, you might have to rinse a little bit more often because it's going to build up pretty good. More because it's just built up big. Not that the shaver is going to try to clog up on you or anything. Another thing I've been kind of considering just a little, just a little. Uh, <laughs> it's been mentioned once before, and I just don't know. Just got some shaving cream on my glasses. Um, shaving oil. You don't see and hear much about it. It's kind of like pre-shave oils. I actually hear more about those. And pre-shave oils, um, in case you might say the biggest concern is uh, what it might do to your brush. Um, don't know about a shaving oil. It's the... Uh, trying to wrap my mind around the idea that the way I understand it is that you don't have to re reapply in between passes. I don't know if I buy that. I haven't used it so but it would seem like you would need to reapply. But then it also got me thinking, if I think along the lines of uh, how Don shaves, he lathers up one time and gets his shave in, a person that shaves like that, I could see a, a, a shave oil, shaving oil would work out pretty well. Just something to think about. Because a uh, shaving oil comes to mind as a, you may see it advertised from time to time, depending on uh, what circles you travel in, in the way of uh, watching TV, is a uh, shave secret, is the one that pops into mind. When I first got it, I was working with it along the lines of using it as a pre-shave oil as opposed to just a shaving with it. So not, I never shaved with it, but I just used it as a pre-shave oil. And, of course, like any other scent, some people may not like the scent, some people might. And then does it interfere with anything else that you put on your face. So once you get past all those hurdles, <laughs> in other words, just a... Uh, Using it, thinking of it as a pre-shave, I mean, as a pre-shave oil or as a shaving oil. For me, the next hoop was just getting past the, do I need to reapply? And I'm kind of thinking that the, uh, Reapply might be necessary. I would be concerned about getting a razor burn. Concerned about getting that at a, just you know in general with a, a shaving oil. So I've been thinking that uh, maybe I'll uh, do a shave or two. Probably two, one off camera, one on camera. So the first one off camera is me just trying to wrap my mind around how to how to use it and how it would work for me before I go on video. For some folks, um, the office where I work, there's a, a lot of the folks that uh, I work with have, I guess you might say, retired and moved on. And so we have a lot of young ones in our office and, and just like anybody else you know how your beard grows varies from person to person and uh, I have to say that's a pretty good shave with a feather blade um, <laughs> some of them 
uh, their beard is, uh, let's say, patchy. <laughs> it's, not everybody has a thick beard. And uh, I could see that, a, you know, a shaving oil would be probably a very inexpensive route for one of them to go, to go with. Because with no more than what may be, you know, just a little bit of growth, and no more expensive than what a shave secret is, I think about four dollars. And um, I think they say what in between two or five drops or something like that, working in your face, single pass or even uh, maybe maybe two. I don't know. And like I say, I haven't shaved with, so I don't know how. After the first pass, how does the oil stay on your face? For the second pass how much is there uh, to me it's kind of concerning because you know you shave shave with soap and if you got some uh, good soap or shaving cream the uh, there's some residual slickness there so with the shaving oil you can kind of see that but is there going to be enough there for three passes how much is that blade going to remove off your face it's kind of like ex exfoliating how much skin am I re, uh, removing when I go through there with a shave bed, a straight razor, a DE, a single edge? How much of that am I removing? It just got me to thinking. <laughs> because if you're looking for an inexpensive shave, I mean, face it, you pay $4 for, for a very small container. It's not very big. I have to look it up when, when I decide to do this. The um, it seems to me like that bottle is pretty ex expensive, but if you're just using little bits at a time, you can see that bottle lasting a while, but it still seems expensive for no more what you're getting. Definitely going with the menthol thing today. The cooling effect. We've had some pretty good weather here. Uh, lows have been in the upper 60s to low 70s. Really nice for this time of year. Uh, this weekend we're supposed to get up around 100. So, yeah, I'm getting ready for the this weekend. Those temperatures are... Uh, I like the other temperatures, the what I've been having, in other words. It's nice to get up in the morning and have that nice cool air. That's that's I really enjoy that. This, I think this was, uh, I think I got a pimple trying to come up right there. I have to pay attention to that, especially uh, going into next week shaving with a, uh, after shave bomb, shaving with a uh, shave bed. I'm going to be using the Artist Club SS Camisori style. Last time I used this, the way I remember is it does not take much Put on your face, so I'm only going to start out with about that much. Yeah, this is a, it is a lotion, but it's almost, almost a gel. Yeah, I would say it's almost a gel. Looking at it. You can see that it has the consistency of a lotion, but it, it leans also towards a gel almost. That's pretty cool. This is a, it depends on where you get it online. I've seen it range anywhere from and of course, this without shipping is, it seems to range anywhere from it goes to one extreme to the other from around $6 to uh, $15. And it also depends if you uh, buy the more than one, in other words, like a twin pack or some other sort. Of course, that's going to cost you a little bit more. But the uh, prices pretty much vary. I think if you actually go to the New Canon website, I think it's a bit more, what to say near $20? I can't remember for sure. I'll put a link down below for this place where I can find the best price. I bought this in a store, a local uh, grocery store. I have got shaving cream right in the middle of my glasses, just bugging the heck out of me. Um, 
I got this one here at a local grocery store. I just went in there to get a quick bite to eat at the deli and uh, happened to notice this display. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Had to get one of them. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, here's the Razorine. This is raw brass form. And uh, I picked the, uh, the raw brass over the uh, chrome. I do like chrome. I do prefer chrome. But I also know that uh, for me sometimes the contrast uh, raw brass when it starts to get the patina on it uh, for one it's not a problem shining it up but it also looks pretty cool kind of like the looks of brass from time to time on a shaver but anyhow this is what it looks like I got the nut off the back there Let's see if I can show some of this here that worked out pretty good this is what the underside looks like how the blade fits up in there and when you uh, put your blade in there probably best to put it in there like that you'll have to press it down in there just a tad bit especially around the post area it may have a snug fit it, and I noticed that from blade to blade all the you know all these blades are made very similar they're very close in the, the same shape and size but one thing I have noticed is that some of them are just a just a little bit different especially when you go to place the blade in there some of them fit in there pretty easy some of them you had to really kind of snap it in there so they do vary the blades do vary from you know maker to maker if you will and um, that's what it looks like on the underside there blade is actually in there there we go so you can kind of see how those um, how the, we got grooves here and how those posts will fit up in there what it looks like and for me on my particular shaver and I don't know if it's that consistent and I'm assuming that it is for me I notice that sometimes and it just may be my eyes are old especially in the morning if they're fuzzy it takes them a while to clear up and so I can focus real well I've noticed that after I get the blade in there sometimes when I look at it it seems like I've got more on one side exposure blade exposure on one side then I do the other and all I do is I just flip it around and it looks just fine to me I don't know if it's just my eyesight I don't know if anybody else is experiencing anything like that but for me that's just something that I noticed like I say just might be my old eyes I had a really good shave this if you can find this the uh, mint menthol eucalyptus scent um, as I was whipping this up out of the bowl I could smell it. It's a. It's not necessarily in your face. It's just present. You'll notice that it's there. It's not. In other words, it's not cryogen or anything quite like that. But it is there. You will notice it, and um, it just whips up really nice. I mean, just I got lots of leather here. Didn't have to put a whole lot of work into it either. So in other words, if you're looking for something that's on the menthol side, and perhaps not like a cryogen this one here if you can find it um, I think it's West Coast shaving has it but uh, it's a lot more than what I paid for this one I got this one on sale of course <laughs> but I like most of my soaps I wait for them to go on sale <laughs> anyway I'll put links down below for all this good stuff and uh, if you're interested in any, in any of it and also don't forget uh, as it goes for uh, the Razorine is available at Shave Nation and Geo does have a video there to watch and uh, I think his uh, how you pronounce his name Gianni he's uh, he's got a video I think he's got two videos out but anyhow there's a number of videos out there to watch other shavers to see what they're experiencing whether whether or not you, if you're sitting on the fence with you want to get one of these uh, these shavers hope everybody uh, is doing well stay safe and smooth shaves to you <laughs>